But I wanted to come out here because I know Metro's got a lot going on. There's a whole versatile group of people out here, a lot of tourism. So I find the most enjoyment working the streets. There's a lot of action out here in Vegas. All right, right now we're route to back up another officer. It looks like he uh, went out on a white male adult standing in the street, causing a disturbance, and it was upgraded to like a fight. And one officer has arrived, and he's out on two subjects, a white male and a black male. And so we'll go back him up and see what's going on with that. How you doing? You okay? I'm great. Do you need medical? Yeah, no, I'm great. Okay. He had nothing to do with it. He had nothing he to do. Home. We worked together. Okay. I him up and take him home in the morning. Okay. This is you have a topic you recovered. I swung by here in the afternoon. He had nothing to do with it. Well, nothing tell me what happened. Exciting. Nothing really. Well, you're you're it's bleeding from the face there, so something it's happened. Yeah, and then okay. And where'd that happen at? In here. Is the person that hits you still in here? Maybe. Possibly. Okay. Do you know the person? No. Okay. Well, why why did they hit you tonight? Was it an argument over or what? We weren't arguing at all. He sucked me in the eye and then. Okay, I understand that he hit you, but what I want to know is why did he hit you? What was the argument about? I'm not really sure. I tried to defend myself and they pushed. Me. All right. But Junior had nothing to do with okay. it. Okay. What does a guy look like that hit you? He had like a chin play haircut. Well, is he white, black, Hispanic? He's black. He had like a... Okay. A, do you remember what he's wearing? No. We don't, we don't need to do any of this. Well, we're going to do what we got to do. We're the police. We're going to investigate it, okay? Absolutely. So do you know him by any name? No. No. I had never met the guy before in my life. All right. And you can't tell me what he's wearing? No, he had like a big like, kid play lots of afro. All right, you see it right there. All right, what is going on? Can you come here for a minute? So just let me know what's going on and okay, this who's involved here. Um, I was sitting at the bar, and this man came up with this check for some reason, wanted to show me he had a thousand some dollar check. Okay. And he propositioned me and my girlfriend. In what way? Well. Tell me his exact words. It's the best that you can remember. Uh, well, he just said, here's, the, here's his check, and he had his check stub and everything. Like, it's all connected. And right. he's like, so are you working? I was in all right, back up a little. No, 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 not just, good. That's what he did. Yeah. All right. And so I was like, buddy, we're not hookers, you know. All and right. so he went and did his thing, and then the bartender came over and said, no, it's fine. It's Right. So my girl came back. I said, you know, I'm not to that guy. He's homeless. I guess he annoyed people all the time. Da-da-da. So then my girl, so I'm sitting, and he came up behind me and went, wham, like, no, I'm, right. I'm just going to show you. All right. I'm looking at you. And she was like, what? And I moved out of the way, and he took his beer and doused me. That's why my hair and everything is so and they So he slams out. the beer, the beer comes no, out no, all no. over he you? He took his beer through it okay. on me. All right. And then he went to take the beer to hit me. The beer goes flying. This guy goes to, like, like hold him away. Right. And then... He came in at least four times, and they had to literally, like, he was hitting everybody. So they physically he, removed him. Yeah, and then he came and that's through the back him and door, him? and I went, and, well, yes, this All man right. and this man were trying to save everybody. Okay. And, the, and the, it ended up being everybody in the bar hit, because then he came around this end. He came in and tried to attack me again, and that's when they all had to, he went after that man uh, numerous months of times. This man was just trying to. They both were trying to save us. Okay. He went psychotic. Okay. Can you just tell me what happened, what your side of this is? Yeah, these two girls came in, and then for some reason, he just started in on her, thought toss a beer at her, spit at her. His friend was trying to get him out, but as far as I'm concerned, he wasn't trying too hard. Right. He and the bartender tried to get him out. It wasn't and, working? No, and then I, I was standing down here, and then for some reason, he just lunged at me, and then he kept coming back. After okay. He kept calling me kid and play a business market. Yeah. And he, he kept coming back. I pushed him off. And he came back and wailed it again. Okay. And How did he get the bloody eye? Did you hit him? Uh, no. Actually, uh, uh, he got that from when they were over there playing pool. Because um, I was sitting there next to another guy at the bar. And I said, look at this. And he, they're going to need new pool tables because his buddy threw him on the table. So, but, uh, yeah, he was throwing on his
the table. And okay. He, and he had a bloody eye before he started on the girls. All right. So I don't, I don't know what the problem is or what's going on with him. All right. But, yeah, he All started right. this whole thing. Thanks a lot for helping the girls out. I mean, could have got ugly for them. Uh, so no problem, appreciate man. Like it. I said, you know, for some reason, he just went out. Right. And I don't know what, what happened there, but. Okay. Uh, after I take the cuffs off, are you going to go back inside or are you leaving? I'm leaving. I'm going to go back inside for a minute and talk okay. to in and then I'm leaving. All right, yeah, because the bartender wanted me to give you a message. He wants to talk to you before you leave, so. Okay. All right? Yeah. All right, thanks. Sam, listen very quickly. Don't interrupt. No. Suck me in the eye. Hey, you don't care. Are you going to cool. listen to me because i got to tell you some things. You're up this place, dude. Are you done? Are you going to listen to me? No. Not really. Well, I'm going to talk to you anyway. Home, listen, you listen, listen. You're making this much worse than it is. Do you want to leave tonight? You tell me. I appreciate your job. You tell me what my options are. Here's your options. Because you've been Here's your options. strapped down for two hours. No, it's been about 22 minutes. And things, right. have I not been cool to you? I thought we were good. You asked the bartender if I'm a disturbance in this place. He said you are. He just trespassed you off the spot. But you can never come here as long as you're alive or this business is here. That's God, dude. Correct. You can never come back. You're going to get arrested if you do. It's the women say you're soliciting them. You're offering money for sex. You can't be doing that either. Dude, I had my f two balls. Your luck here is that no one wants to prosecute your press charges, so you're going to walk out of here tonight. Your luck here is that. Yes, your luck is that. That's what you're saying. Honestly. Yes. Uh, no, honestly. That's what Scott. Yes. Honestly. So we're going to uncuff you, and you're going to walk out of here, and you're not going to come back ever, okay? Dude, if that's what Scott said, then I will never come back here again. Beautiful. Then you're out of here. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Coverage code. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs>